let's start getting more granular now with routing protocols. There are really two large types of routing protocols. We have interior gateway routing protocols and exterior gateway routing protocols. Now we're not going to use exterior gateway protocols in this particular video series. The scope of the CCNA is much smaller than what will be needed to include an exterior gateway routing protocol like BGP. But to give you an idea of how and why it's needed, we can take a look at this very simple example. So what I've drawn here is three clouds, and these clouds represent internet service providers. Down here, this empty cloud is just a generic cloud that represents the internet as a whole. And then we have Global Mantics ISP, which is a made-up internet service provider. And we have the Train Signal ISP, which is another made-up internet service provider that I just made up out of my brain. Well, let's say we're a business that needs a highly available network, meaning we have a public website and we always want our website to be up. Well, in order to do that, we want to make sure that we have connections to two different internet service providers. So in this case, I purchased services with the Train Signal internet service provider, and I purchased services with a Global Mantics internet service provider. And then I acquire my own IP version 4 network IP space here of 203.0.113.0 slash 24. So what I do is I basically tell the train signal ISP about my network address that I received from the IANA, I, from the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. Uh, I tell Global Mantics ISP about the number that I have purchased from the IANA. And now what I can do is I can, in this particular case, what I'm doing is telling train signal, hey, you're my primary internet service provider. If somebody wants to connect to my web server, send all their traffic through the train signal ISP through my connection here into my router. Now, we need an exterior gateway protocol to kick in and move that route from the train signal ISP over to the Global Mantics ISP. So we use an exterior gateway protocol, namely Border Gateway Protocol, or BGP, in order to let the Train Signal ISP and the Global Mantics ISP and the rest of the public internet communicate with each other, and it allows that network address then, instead of being routed through the Train Signal ISP, it then allows it to be routed through the Global Mantics ISP. And in this way, we can experience a very tiny, if any, service interruption when our internet service connection to one of our ISPs goes down. It allows us to move that IP space over to our other side of our internet connection through our other ISP. Is this the only thing that Border Gateway Protocol does or our exterior protocol does? No. The, the exterior protocol is a lot more sophisticated than this. It allows for a very sophisticated and reliable and robust connection between different ISPs out there on the public internet. What we're going to focus on in this course is Interior Gateway Protocols, or IGP. Now, IGP are mainly protocols used, for example, within an internet service provider, or more appropriately and more understandably within an enterprise. So within the company you work for, you're going to use an interior gateway protocol. I worked at a large hospital in Wisconsin, in, in Madison, Wisconsin for a while, and we used the OSPF interior gateway protocol, as well as EIGRP interior gateway protocol, as well as static routes. So we actually use two interior gateway protocols and static routes to accommodate our routing environment. But we did not use an exterior gateway protocol at all because in our particular environment at the time, we only had one internet service provider. So we let the internet service provider handle all of our EGP or exterior gateway protocol needs. And we just focused on our internal environment. That's really the focus of the routing protocols in this course.